Hi, I'm Fred. Let's build the easiest bamboo and sugarcane farm on Bedrock, here on the Forever Bedrock server. Now what makes this the easiest bamboo and sugarcane farm is that you can do it in early game. You will need iron, you will need redstone, so it's not like a first day thing, but it's very soon after. And more importantly, you don't need any quartz, so you don't have to go to the nether. Scary. Now on the flip side, it also means you're not going to get the best rates possible, but this is early game stuff, it'll do you. For quite a while, quite frankly. And you don't have to worry about chunk aligning anything. What we're going to do is build the first module. Once you have this module done, you can just put as many in as you want. So we do that. We do this. And on these two sides, we do this. Some collection chest. Some hopper lines. And in this case, some water. Now the bamboo side of things, I got the design from Slack Wizard. Wizard? No, Lizard. <laughs> but the re the uh, adding the sugarcane side, that was all me. It's only possible doing a function of redstone that I did not know existed before I started testing this out. Piston there, piston there, piston there. Piston, piston, piston. Now most of the places I'm going to use grass here, you can use solid blocks. Grass. Most of the places I'm using glass, you can use solid blocks. If you if you can't, I will let you know. And looking at my design, there is no place. Just use solid blocks, use glass, use whatever you want. <laughs> Some places where I have solid blocks, you must use solid blocks, so keep that in mind. Okay, we got those in place. Let's start putting in bamboo and sugarcane because they will take a bit to grow. That goes there. And then we go up here. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Basically, whenever these bamboo grow up to around where these pistons are, it just it interacts with the grass above, so it's on either side. It sets off a little uh, torch clock, which you'll see how it works. We'll just start shooting them out. And so what we're doing here is bringing the signal around to the other side so that we can use it um, to also harvest some sugar cane because, hey... Free harvesting. Sugarcane does not work the same way. It will not set off those uh, that torch clock. Trust me, I did the testing. But all we need to do to bring it over here is like that. If we want to make it useful, we're also going to have to block off where the pistons might shoot all the stuff past the hoppers. And on the collection side, we're also going to bring a glass on this side or blocks on this side. In this case, it has to be glass. So you can open your chest, but you can also, you know, put another hopper in there, use a slab, use something so that your chest opens. Okay, I'm going to extend, extend this out in this direction so that I have 15 total columns, as it were, or five modules next to each other. And the time it took me to build that, you can see it worked just there. I've already collected six bamboo and zero sugar cane. It takes a while to get started. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but the real clever bit is we stack them. Now, stacking this side isn't all that clever because it's just easy to stack. You can see we've got the dirt with the bamboo planted in it. And each section has, you know, this U shape. Of the solid blocks with the three pistons, the solid block with the torch on it. That we can just stack up all the way. On the other side, we actually need the water for the sugar cane. So that where that's where it gets a little tricky. And by tricky, I mean it's super easy. And I didn't know this would work, but it does. And I'll show you that when we get to it. So on this side, we're just continuing the same thing. Blocks all the way across. Then the weird skip one, do two. All the way down. Piston. Don't do it that way. It's better if you crouch out. And you just 
Do the reverse pattern all the way through. Put your torches down and plant your bamboo. And to finish this just like on the other side, we need solid blocks above. I'm using dirt because I'm gonna stack four of these on top of each other. Now on the other side, and here's the clever bit, we need to be able to hold water, but we also need to not break this redstone line. Glass cannot hold that water, but, and this is what I did not know, stairs will not break the redstone. It makes sense because like glass, we're not a solid block, but it's not something I've seen and it's not something I ever you know, needed to try. So that was pretty neat. So basically we just do stairs all the way through here. On the ends we curve it around of course so that the water doesn't pour out and wash everything away. And then we just line everything with dirt. And then the least fun part about this build. We've got our water log. Each one of these individually. So once that's done we do the same thing we did down here. We cover the water with glass, we put our pistons on top, we do the redstone and the target blocks. Oh no, a dirt. And we plant our sugar cane. So I'm gonna finish up this row and show it to you. And then we're gonna go crazy. Okay, I need to put a lot more glass in. That's all the glass I have. I need to get more glass. And then I need to get a bunch of other more materials. So I'm gonna build this up, like I said. I'll do four layers up. Then I'm going to mirror it and do another of these entire kind of set of modules on this side. So I have two rows of it pouring in. The bamboo will come in a lot faster than the sugar cane, but it will all collect up. And there we have it. Four level. One, two, three, four levels. <laughs> four levels. I can count. Two sides. This fills up a little over a whole sub chunk. If it was chunk aligned at all, which it's not. Yeah, all the way to the top, it's 16 blocks, so it's a little over a sub chunk because you got stuff underneath. And yeah, you could probably put some lights instead of glass here in the middle. Stuff grows better with light, but it's not necessary. And as long as you got glass on the sides, you're fine. If you are going to build this with solid blocks, I would, you know, put a couple of lighting blocks somewhere in the middle walls. Well, everywhere in there. Outer, inner, you do want some light in there. And if you happen to build this next to an iron farm where your villagers have mostly escaped the center, jerks, you'll collect lots of iron in the middle of all this process too. And while we've been building, we've been collecting. Hi, cow. So like I said, it's not the fastest, but it is the easiest and it's pretty fast. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around this channel to see the next video, which will be a sea pickle farm which is actually automatic, unlike the ones I usually build. I'll catch y'all later.